to me, you know, he's just out in the wind still. I can't rest until I get his remains back and find out what happened to him. In December of 2004, Carl Adams' son Stephen finished a final at NSU in Tahlequah and then vanished. After years without movement on the case, last year Carl and his supporters gathered enough signatures to impanel a grand jury to investigate Stephen's disappearance. The proceedings lasted on and off from last September to just last week. Cherokee County DA Brian Keister says while no one has been indicted, the testimony has helped investigators. I think that perhaps we've got some leads now that were not known before that perhaps could allow us to continue on in the investigation of the disappearance of Stephen Adams. We knew ahead of time going into this that we may not get an indictment. Uh, we use this as a tool to further the investigation and it worked very well. I believe that uh, there's a lot of good came out of it. Now another new detail found in the report is that grand jurors believe that Stephen's missing white pickup truck was seen parked along the Illinois River after his disappearance. They believe the contents from inside the truck were stolen and that Stephen's textbooks were resold for cash here at NSU. As of today, the whereabouts of Stephen's body and his truck remain unknown. The grand jury report goes on to say that jurors believe that Adam's killer or killers testified before them and that they lied under oath. Jurors are asking the DA to move forward with perjury charges against those suspects whose names have not been released. Keister says he intends to review the transcripts to see if there is enough evidence to file perjury charges. Carl Adams says the grand jury has given him real hope that Stephen's case will be solved. I feel like that everybody's on the same page about what happened and who did it, and they're starting to put some pressure on some people, and I, I think we're going to have a good, good conclusion to this. Reporting from Tahlequah, Casey Roebuck, 2 News, works for you.